Oh my god, this is the drama of 2019 so far. This is quite some juicy back and forth soap opera. The Young and the Restless, Bold and the Beautiful, Housewives of Beverly Hill type sh So Tifu has responded. The contract that FaZe Bank said wasn't bad has been leaked. And let me tell you something, people. Come in here. Come 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 here. It's a really bad contract, and FaZe Banks initially lied. Spoiler alert. So yes, Tifu responded last night with this two-minute video, which seemed stupid at the time because FaZe Banks previously sat there and said the contract wasn't bad. We never took any money from you, which I do believe, but the contract is really, really bad. Hashtag release the contract the contract or parts of it was leaked apparently by a reputable source and has been confirmed by keemstar with phase that yes this contract is what it is it's the actual picture of the contract and what tifu got <laughs> but tifu did respond last night and here's a real quick recap of the most important parts that he said yo what is up guys i'm gonna keep this video really short and to the point, first I want to say, um, all the stuff about the gambling, the stunts, the drinking, I told my lawyer I did not want that in there and he will do exactly just that, he will take it. What I really want to talk about is the main point. I never wanted to upset anybody, I never wanted to bring that stuff in. I never wanted to get anybody to get emotional because this isn't about that. This is about me and this contract. This contract that I signed when I didn't know any better. I'm an idiot. I should have never signed it in the first place. This three year contract. And what I'm trying to do here is just serve justice to the esports community, the esports industry. These kids are getting ripped off, they're getting taken advantage of. These contracts are not okay, and this needs to never happen again. Show the <laughs> contract, Fizz. Release the <laughs> contract. Everybody, hashtag release the <laughs> contract. Last night after the video by Tifu saying that, you know, hashtag release the contract, FaZe Banks went on Twitter and obviously, Turner, we offered you 1 million per year with zero splits across the board. The only deliverable on your side was to represent FaZe Clan. To act like we didn't try to fix your situation multiple times is manipulative. Tifu, like I said, for us, this was never about money. So with that, I do believe that FaZe Banks did really try to work with Tifu, tried to have multiple times work out a better contract than this piece of crap that Tifu really got, which, hold on a second, we'll get to it. I'll show you the numbers in a second. We gotta build up to FaZe Banks make this bed that he's making and then sleep in it because people thought Tifu was lying. That's the truth, right? People thought Tifu was full of it, but it seems like with this contract is horrible. Like, I don't know what Tifu was doing signing it in the first place. I guess he was a nobody at the time and, you know, getting a contract to play the FaZe, even though they take all your money, is still better than no contract with FaZe and having nobody watch you on Twitch. So anyways, FaZe Banks went Went on to say further, and with the new contract, anything agreed to in the previous one would be nullified. We offered so many different solutions, all of them taken nothing, absolutely nothing from Turner. Tifu blew up and forgot where he came from. Classic clout. She. By the way, we are indeed releasing the contract. Just got off the phone with the higher ups, and we're prepared for it for you guys now. I have nothing to hide, and everything I've said throughout all this is the truth. We tried for a straight year to come to a new agreement. And through all this, Tifu hasn't said anything. He's just responded, released the contract. Last night, FaZe Bank said he'd released the contract. Unfortunately, that contract hasn't been released, but hell, I've got it, ladies and gentlemen. I have the contract. Yes, I do. You want to see what we got here? Want to see how bad your boy Tifu has been getting hosed? You want to see how bad this contract is? Well, ladies and gentlemen, please, can I get a drum roll? Can I see some smashes on that like button? Can I see some subscribe to Eight Thoughts? All right, we're about to release the contract. Eight Thoughts. Number one, releasing contract YouTube channel right now. Boom. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Tufu FaZe Clans and Splits. Look at this. Uh, brand deals brought in by FaZe Clan. 20% to Tifu, 80% to FaZe Clan. Apparently, the only thing they took from him was 20%. They didn't actually take the 80%. They actually only took $60,000 out of $300 and something thousand dollars that Tifu made from his brand deals. In game sticker merchandise, 50 50. Apparently, they never collected on that. But like I said, FaZe Banks was saying other things otherwise. And quite frankly, I don't know who to trust anymore. Brand deals brought in by Gamer, 50 50. 
50, appearance fees 50 50, prize money tournaments 80% to Tifu and 20% to Face Clan. There is a little bit of lying there because they said that Tifu was only getting. 20% and FaZe Clan was taking 80% of everything so it's not quite as bad as Tifu made it out to be and it's not quite what we would say anywhere near as good as FaZe Clan made it out to be but it still is without doubt horrible for Tifu. like this is a really bad contract if you're out here and you're looking to sign a contract with somebody this would be an example kids men women everyone in between mams it's exactly what you would not sign Okay, so do not sign any kind of contract that anyone tries to approach you with this. I mean, dude, you might as well just buy used cars without engines, for God's sakes, if you're looking to sign this kind of contract. So, at the end of the day, my two cents on this whole situation goes as this. And since I am an adult here, I think my opinion kind of does matter a little bit here. And I think I'd have more of an insight than a lot of younger people and also a lot of other gnomes who've got brain damage and were five foot six and fat. Invite eight thoughts to the tournament? Hell no. Absolutely not. So Tifu, being young and impressionable and really excited for the opportunity to play with FaZe Clan, especially since he wasn't very well known, gets presented with the contract by FaZe Banks themselves and is starstruck. And it's like, oh my God, here we go. I'm going to join FaZe Clan. I'm going to get known. I'm going to play with FaZe Cloakie. I'm going to get on Friday Fortnite. I'm going to blow up. This is awesome. And he gets offered this contract. And he has nothing to lose at that time because he was a nobody and really not really making much money or having any clout. So he signed the horrible contract. And honestly, FaZe Banks and FaZe at the same time are kind of predatorial with their contract that they offer to this kid. To offer that contract to somebody is 110% taking advantage of somebody. That's a scumbag move. So right there, that's a notch on my side to say that FaZe Banks messed up there. And FaZe, whoever offered that contract, FaZe Banks, I'm sure, is a loser. And that's a horrible contract to give to someone. And Tifu to accept that contract is an idiot. I mean, he was young, maybe 19, 18 at the time, didn't have anything to lose. So he figured, why not? I'll sign the contract. And he did, let's keep that in mind, sign a contract. No matter how bad and how much of a ripoff it is, he did sign a contract. Meanwhile, FaZe Banks and Tifu during this contract form a relationship, become good buddies apparently. And FaZe never actually collects on any of this horrible contract money that they are owed. According to FaZe Banks, now keep this in mind, we don't know if that's true because FaZe Banks has been trying to emotionally manipulate Tifu this whole time and play the buddy game and like, oh, we're friends. How could you do this to me? I'm hurt. And Tifu is handling it like a business. Like, I mean, listen, I signed a horrible contract and I don't care what you guys did or didn't do. I want out of this horrible contract. So I can see how FaZe Banks is hurt by this because his friend, his buddy, apparently they're BFF kind of just said you know what listen forget our friendship it's all about business i'm going through with this and phase banks is like oh my god you're stabbing me hard play the 1980s sad music and at the same time though phase banks does say and has openly admitted that throughout the last year or so they have been trying to renegotiate a deal with tifu like he said he offered him a million dollars per year with no money no nothing no percentages nothing being taken just remain in face clan say your face tifu and we'll pay you a million dollars per year and still tifu is like hell no here's the deuces i'm out so long story short i find both parties to be guilty and held liable for what they have done and the mistakes and the troubles that they're both in right now they both have made mistakes tifu signed a stupid contract phase banks pushed this predatorial contract onto tifu who's a young up-and-coming twitch streamer that phase bank saw was going to blow up and kind of took advantage that tifu was young and was a no-name and had nothing to lose and was mesmerized and blinded by the lights of the phase clan cloud house and now Tifu is big, he's made millions and millions of dollars. He's smarter, he's got lawyers, he's got his father apparently telling him what the hell you do and let's get out of this contract. And FaZe Banks is trying to hold on to obviously a breadwinner. FaZe Tifu is a big name for FaZe. So it would be in your best interest to do everything in your power to keep him under the FaZe umbrella. And that's what FaZe Banks is doing with a little bit of emotional manipulation. At the end of the day, it's gonna go to courts. At the end of the day, he did sign a contract and that contract is binding no matter how bad it is. And they can prove that he was a minor and he was taken advantage of but i do believe at the time of the signing tifu was 18 and older so he's responsible for his own actions does not need a guardian or a lawyer so he's stuck with his contract and phase banks apparently has been trying to get him a better contract for the last year and that's not good enough for tifu so it's going to go to court and probably or either a buyout and end of phase tifu it's probably just tifu Maybe it'll be Optic Tifu. Maybe Optic offered him $10 million per year. I don't know. But at the end of the day, it's awesome. This is some hilarious drama. And I hope you enjoyed this amazing and awesome video. 
And with all that being said, ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't done so already, listen, 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 listen. Hit that subscribe button. Come on now. Like, honestly, why would you not? And also at the same time, why would you not definitely do as well is hit that like button like a stud that you are watching this video. I appreciate that. And last but not least, and most importantly, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Eight Thoughts. Thank you for watching. You all, you all, stay black. We'll the hunt crack with the shape of the building movies. Father's been given to the judge, good tires, and the human horse, elders of flight, music, fake elders, and the billions, and the fox, gave white men. Bring it down. I'll see you on the next video, ladies and gentlemen. Phase up, maybe not. Phase down.